Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, January 15th, 2023. 28 degrees at 9.56 a.m. and I am your host, Pat Kamal. I'm a tired achy center. I am here with my brother, Prince, and co-star, Michael. Can you come in, Poppy? My brother, Prince, and co-star, Sullivan's right there. My brother, Prince, and co-star, Mackie's out there somewhere. There he is. My brother, Prince, and co-star, Samuel, is... I'm going to shut that window, Mikey. Upstairs, there's a flock of city chickens flying by. I would guess there in that group are 50. (laughs) The full group that I saw. Maybe more. Our lead story today, and Princess Elsie is in the living room underneath the coffee table. But our lead story today, Liz Hurley's Jubblies are 57 years, 219 days, 3 hours and 16 minutes old at the start of this broadcast. And that is their original equipment. Oh, Mikey, you gonna come in, Poppy? <laughs> oh, it was tough getting out of bed this morning, I gotta tell you. There, there you go. There you go, Mikey. There you go, Mikey. No, no, Sully, be nice. Don't be a ball breaker. That's my job. Especially on a Sunday morning. Go on, Mikey. Go on. Go on. I got him. He ain't gonna hurt you. Alright, now we can shut the window and keep some of the... Actually, we should open the windows up and let some heat in. City chickens are on the service line, most of them. Still four visible up on the power lines. We got coffee brewed. We've emptied litter boxes. We put out food for the wildlife. And it was tough getting out of bed today. Mikey was curled up on the crook of my left arm. Samuel was in the crook of my right arm. Sully was laying on my legs by my feet, and Maxie was alongside my right side. And it was warm and comfy up there underneath that down blanket. Faux sheezy with all that love around me. Anyway, it's about time to get a cup of coffee in us. I don't know if the workers are going to be coming to clean out the dust and cobwebs and the gears that run my brain this morning. It is Sunday, and tomorrow's a holiday, so they might have the day off, so. Yes, it is. Anyhow, I think that coffee's brewed long enough. I hope it has. I hope the grounds are fine enough. The water temperature was warm enough. It's brewed long enough. Because if it wasn't, if all those things don't happen, when I push that plunger down on that, we're going to have a thermonuclear explosion. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Not looking good at the start. We might be doomed. We are doomed. That's a whole nother matter, though. Boom! Oh, boy, did that fail. Hey, all right, let's have a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a little break here. Welcome back, and I don't mean that one little bit. Even if I wasn't tired, I wouldn't mean it. (laughs) City chickens are still on the wire. Sullivan's got the plum spot here. Oh, yeah, let's do a recap of yesterday. We didn't have a real active morning. We did get some bread baked and went and helped out at the soup kitchen. 
I took a load of bread to uh, one of my fellow volunteers. She's fairly new at it. I think she's been with us a couple of months now. And um, I told her I was going to bake some of my bread for her. She was, seemed to be amazed when she found out I, I baked bread. And I don't know. I guess maybe it's because I don't present to people as who and what I am and how capable and capable and competent I am. I present fuck them all to the world and a lot of people probably have me mistaken for a brain damaged five year old. But anyway. Uh, we had a good day yesterday. We cooked or we served 28 trays and we had assorted sandwiches that were donated by the school. Chicken, spicy chicken, yeah. cheeseburgers, PBJs, grilled cheese, and some wraps. Those grilled cheese are prefabs, man. I don't know. I would never, I've never ate one, and I, I don't think I ever would. And if I had kids, they certainly wouldn't be eating that. But anyway, along with that, there were some awesome meatballs and gravy. I scored some of them to bring home, and they didn't make it long. And some little appetizers, some sliced ham with wrapped around cream cheese and a pickle inside. And what else was there? Probably some kind of dessert. There were cookies and little mini bags of potato chips. And that reminded me, I haven't had a potato chip in like two months. I, qu I quit eating that stuff and... I like eating crunchy things and I like good potato chips, but I'm just trying to get away from that kind of garbage food and eat real food, you know, for a couple of reasons. The price of that stuff's ridiculous for one and, you know, instead of having cheese flavored crackers, I can have some real cheese on some Triscuits or, you know, stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing. But anyway, came home and just hung out with the loves and read to them and I know we probably watched something on YouTube or movies last night but I can't remember what it was I really can't my brain is soft so anyway we're gonna take a break well the city chickens have decided to have some breakfast might be second breakfast so I don't know oh yeah The ducks have been regular visitors around mid-afternoon and oh what was I gonna say big brain fart we went outside last night me and all the loves we hung out outside for a few minutes and enjoyed the fresh air a cool January evening oh yeah there they go no idea what's on tap for today, none at all. As near as I can tell, there are 62 city chickens out there. Oh yeah, isn't this fun? I think tomorrow, or today, we're gonna have one minute and 40 seconds, 46 seconds more daylight than we did yesterday. It might be 40, one minute and 47 seconds, but doesn't really matter. We're almost at the point where we're getting two, two minutes a day, and I think since the solstice we have gained over 20 minutes, it's got to be. Isn't that awesome? I think it is. Well, we are back, and we have some sadness to report. The city chickens all just burst off, and I don't know if one of them crashed into the phone pole or crashed into another one but he dropped like a rock and out near the bottom of that telephone pole just to the right of it there's a light spot and that's where he fell and I think he died so anyway just me and Sully here we're just about finished with our first carafe of coffee we've got enough to make about one more um, I think we're going to get in a bike ride of some type today going to check the the weather forecast and the wind speed and all that, that's, that'll be the, the determining factor. It's not too cold out there, but 
that wind will eat through you, and that's I don't like that. So anyway, I think that's all we have on this Sunday morning, and we do need more coffee because I've got enough left to make one more carafe. So that'll be the adventure for the day, the excuse to get us out the door. What we'll do after that, who knows where we'll go, what we'll do, doesn't matter. But anyway, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, piss off. Happy Sunday, and thanks for not tuning in.